What is the longest ball in golf? Depending on what ball you're either playing or you aren't playing, golfers are giving up a lot of distance off the tee. And we know it because in our testing, we found up to 31.8 yards difference from longest to shortest. That's a big deal. We've covered some of this already in our cheap versus expensive tests, and we'll put that link in the description. We tested 37 balls, over 60 hours, and over 4,500 shots. We're gonna be showcasing the top five longest balls in golf for every swing speed, low, mid, and high. But make sure to watch the whole video today because we're gonna be busting some golf ball myths that a lot of you probably have never heard. Let's get it. First up is for the big hitters, the bombers, the people out there hitting dingers the high swing speed category. And that in our testing is 105 to 120 miles an hour. Coming in at number five for longest balls in golf is the Strixon Z-Star. This is the softer feeling, higher spinning Strixon tour level ball. All right, coming in at number four for the longest ball for high swing speed golfers is a classic. The Titleist Pro V1. If you wanna learn a lot more about how this golf ball actually got made, pretty interesting video that we just shot, it will put the link down below. We toured the Ball Plant 3 for titles in Cushion, Massachusetts. All right, coming in at number three is the Bridgestone Tour B RX. This was the best selling Bridgestone ball before Tiger came along. All right, runner up is the Titleist Tour Speed. Now this was one of the biggest shocks in our test. It wasn't on any of our radars, but at the end of the day, it came in as runner up for the high swing speed category. And the number one longest ball in golf for high swing speeds is a no doubter. It's the Titleist Pro V1X Left Dash. Exactly 329.8 yards. So to put that in some perspective, that was 31 0.8 yards longer than the shortest ball in our test, the Enesis Tour 900. Pretty staggering. A golf ball can make that much of a difference. That's more than a driver for most. Have you ever hit that perfect shot and it didn't actually go where you thought it should have gone? Might have actually been the ball. I know it sounds crazy, but it might not have been your fault that the ball went in the water. Here's why. In our testing, we found some major inconsistencies from ball brands. Some balls flew 20 yards or more offline. You should not see that with robot testing. Let's give you a quick example. You hit a tee shot and let's say you average 250 off the tee and you've got to clear the water. Now you hit a ball that isn't as consistent from a quality control standpoint and it only flies 230. That's in the middle of the lake. That wasn't your fault. All right, now to the meat of the golf industry, and that's the mid swing speed category. Just so you know, that's anything between 90 and 105 miles an hour. Coming in at number five for the longest ball in golf for that swing speed category is the Vice Pro, which is probably the most popular DTC golf brand in the business right now. All right, coming in at number four is the Callaway Chrome Soft X LS. And while it might have soft in the name, this ball is firm and fast from what we found in our test. Coming in at number three for the longest golf ball in the mid swing speed category is the Tiger Ball, the Bridgestone Tour BXS. All right, next up is the runner up, and that is the TaylorMade Tour Response. All right, quick side note. At my golf spy, not only do we test performance, but we also test for quality control, where this ball just finished in our ball lab with one of the best scores we've seen to date. And now to number one, for the longest ball in golf for mid swing speed category. And that is the Maxfly Tour CG. There is no argument at my golf spy. When it combines value and performance, this is the number one ball in golf in our opinion. Pro tip here for my golf spy. 
play the same ball. If you play a TaylorMade TP5, always play the TaylorMade TP5. Here's why. Let's say you lose the TP5 off the tee. You spray one in the woods. You reach in that grab bag, shag bag of dreams, and you pull out a Bridgestone Tor BX. Well, that Tor BX might be different than the TP5. Like our testing showed, it might be shorter. It might be longer. It might be more inconsistent. What does that mean on the actual golf course? That means inconsistencies. If you want it to fly 250 yards, you want to know that that ball is going to fly 250 yards when you hit it well. And if it only flies 230, and it was only because you changed balls, that is not what you're looking for. Play the same ball. All right, on to our last category. If your driver's swing speed is 90 miles per hour below, this one is for you. Coming in at number five, not only on our high swing speed, but once again in our low swing speed, is the Titleist Tour Speed. And now on to number four. It's the Bryson DeChambeau ball, the Bridgestone Tour BX. Number three for the longest ball in golf for swing speeds 90 miles an hour below, and maybe number one for the coolest box in golf, and that's Vice Pro Plus. Our silver finisher and your number two ball, if your swing speed is 90 or below, and the first time you've heard about it today, is the Titleist AVX. And the top dog in our testing, the definitive longest ball in golf, not only for high swing speeds, but slow swing speeds as well, is the Titleist Pro V1X Left Dash. Last tip for my golf spy here, and let's talk spin. Don't let golf ball manufacturers fool you. If they tell you that it's low spin off the driver and high spin off the wedge, that's not what we found in testing. What we found is if the ball spins high on the driver, it's gonna be high spinning off the wedge. And for the most part, if it's low spinning off the driver, it's not gonna be as high spinning off your wedge. So that covers the top five longest golf balls for low, mid, and high swing speed golfers. Pretty much everybody out there. Now you know the longest ball for you. But before we go, let me give you a couple quick takeaways. Almost every golfer knows that getting fit for golf clubs can make a dramatic difference. It can help lower your score. Everybody knows that. But after today's results, what we want you to know is golf ball fitting can be as or more important. 30 plus yards potentially are being left on the table by you not going into a store and getting fit for a golf ball. So big question, why haven't you been fit for a golf ball? All right, everybody at My Golf Spy truly believes that golf ball fitting is the future. Did you know that you can actually get a golf ball fitting over Zoom for free with Titleist? And while that might not be brand agnostic, it is pretty damn cool. So now that I've given you the question, why don't you go get fit for a golf ball? The next one coming back to us is, where do we get fit for a golf ball? PGA Tour Superstore is a great option. Here's why. Not only can they fit you for a golf ball, but if you don't like the ones they fit you in, you aren't happy with them, you lost them all in the woods, you got 90 days, they'll give you your money back. All right, let's wrap all this up by you going down and putting a comment in the comment section below and letting us know, have you been fit for a golf ball? And if not, why? So until next time, I'll see you then.